John chapter 1. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Has any of you proclaimed to be in a light yet walk in darkness? Or has the light of the Messiah exposed the darkness to the point of even cleansing the conscience? If you believe in the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, he is indeed your advocate. You want to know my testimony? Read Ephesians 2. I was once dead at the bottom of the grave, a rebel who opposed the living God digging my own grave with sin shovel. But God quickened me, and now I'm alive and new, according to the testimony of Ephesians 2. Or John 3:16. do you believe in the risen son? Then he is your advocate, who is matchless. He has never been defeated. His righteousness, we needed. The advocate who knew what he came to do to cleanse me and you with his blood like a flood it poured down the cross perfect sacrifice propitiating and appeasing good and faithful servant in the father's sight the spotless lamb standing before the father on our behalf as the enemy does the math adding up all our sins to condemn but who is to condemn not I or any of you who abides with him. Call on the name of him before it's too late. Jesus Christ, on our behalf, he advocates. First John chapter 2, verse 1b through 2. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 through 6a. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25. Consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them.